Hello everyone, Jack here, and today we're going to take a look at using your Papilio uh, circuit board as a logic analyzer. So, uh, with the latest version of Design Lab, so 1.07 or later, um, it's built in. We have this logic analyzer icon, and what it will do is it will load a bit file to your Papilio board and let you use it as a standalone logic analyzer without making a sketch or making a circuit or anything like that. So uh, to get started with using it, first thing you need to do is plug in a Papilio board. In this case, we are plugging in a Papilio Duo. Then we're going to go, we need to go to Tools and select the correct board. So let's uh, select the Papilio Duo. It's a 2 meg in this, this case. And then just hit the Logic Analyzer icon. It's going to ask you, do you want to overwrite the circuit that you have on your Papilio board now with a dedicated logic analyzer circuit or uh, sometimes you will have a circuit that has a logic analyzer embedded in it and you don't want to. In this case we will overwrite it. We're going to choose yes and so it's going to start writing a bit file and it's also going to pop up this message telling us how the channels are connected. So on the Papilio Duo channels 0 through 15 are on the D wing and channels 16 through 31 are on the C-Wing. Now if you have a board other than the Duo, it's going to be different. It's going to give you a different message. Uh, so click OK to this and then it will start loading the Logic Analyzer client. OK, so once we have the Logic Analyzer client loaded, we have a bit file loaded, uh, then we can start capturing. So go here, make sure your connection type is serial port and then choose your COM port. If you have a Papilio 1 or Papilio Pro, you're going to see two serial ports. Choose the highest, the second serial port. Make sure your speed is at 11520. And then go here and choose the type of board you have because this affects how much memory is available. For the Duo and the Pro, we have 64K of memory. Uh, the Papilio 1s have 24K of memory. OK, then go to Acquisition. Um, you're going to want to lower your sampling rate. 200 is pretty high. Let's just, uh, it's going to depend on your application. Let's just say 20 megahertz for this. Um, choose the channel groups that you want. So this channel group would be 0 through 8, and then, uh, I'm sorry, 0 through 7, then 16 through 23, 24 through, uh, wait, I got that messed up. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, we probably want to do recording size automatic because it's going to what it, if you deselect any of the channel groups then it allocates more memory for the channel group you have so if you just want the maximum amount of memory and you're only using eight channels then deselect the remaining three channels and only leave the first channel selected and you'll get 64 uh, kilobytes available to you if you need 16 channels Select the second one and then you'll get 24 kilobytes. So forth and so forth. Okay, um, after that we can hit capture. You should see down here that it is transferring the captured data. And we'll maximize this. We'll undo the measurement. And uh, so we didn't have anything actually connected. So we should see that they're all low. But uh, this is what you need to do to uh, use your board as a logic analyzer. So uh, there's a lot, a lot of really nifty features in the analyzer client. Uh, you can measure a waveform, like the, the how many pulses there are. So you could set a cursor and see how many pulses there are. Set two cursors, that is. See how many pulses there are between the cursors. You could see the frequency uh, that the pulses occur. Um, here's some details. Uh, under tools, we have all kinds of analyzers, so you can uh, you could capture serial port data and analyze it, see what numbers are being transferred over the serial port. Same with I2C, uh, JTAG, SPI, all kinds of stuff. Uh, so this really is a great logic analyzer that you can use with your Papilio uh, circuit board. 